His son was bent. You know what that means? Yani there is no way you can change his mind in marrying a foreign lady. He doesn't want to marry anyone from Yemen. He wanted to marry a Western girl. His father was quite religious, although he was very affluent, very rich, and he had many properties and drove beautiful cars and had a beautiful mansion. Yet, he was religious. One day, out of the blue, he receives a phone call from a friend of his who owns a hotel in Mashhad. He says, guess what? He said, what? He said, today I received an invitation to go and witness the cleansing of the tomb of Imam al -Mudhi. Private. This is a private affair. No one can go there. So they empty the whole mosque and you, they bring you inside the mosque and they, you, they give you the opportunity to clean the shrine and the tomb of Imam al -Ridha. Some people get the opportunity of cleaning the tomb of Imam al -Ridha from outside and some from the inside. This man received an invitation to do what? To clean the tomb from the outside. So his friend in Tehran says, he said, please tell the administration in Imam al -Ridha, can they extend the invitation to two more people? Please, I beg you. That man knew a lot of people then. He said, okay, I'll try. So he rang the administration of the shrine of Imam al-Ridha said, I have two friends. I want you to include them in cleaning the tomb of Imam al-Ridha from the outside. Please give me the permission to include them. They said, okay, permission granted. He calls his friends and said, fly, Yo, the opportunity has come. This man did this wine. He wants to ask Allah through the intercession of Imam al-Ridha to change his son's what mind about marrying who? Someone from? From the West. So they, his son is good son, he's not a bad son. To cut the story short, they came clean the shrine, everything, and the man was praying by the right of this man, O oh Allah, by the right of this Imam. I ask you to change the mind of my son. By the end of cleaning the whole shrine and everything, he turned to his son, he says, what is your idea? He said, listen that. I know you brought me here to pray to Allah through the Imam to change my mind. And I love my Imam, but don't use this against me. I still want to marry that girl from outside. All this coming from Tahran to Mashhad, praying, cleaning the shrine of the Imam. You still with this mentality? So when they were rounding up, the man said to the person who is cleaning the shrine of the Imam inside the mosque, he said, I want some of the dust from the grave of the Imam. So the man looked around, how am I giving you some dust? He looked and he found a piece of paper inside the shrine. He picked up the piece of paper and he started collecting some dust on the paper, rolled it and gave it to the man through the, the window, you know, through the window. So the man took it. When he went home, he said, listen, Manish, I'm your dad. Take this dust and keep it with you. So the young son says, my father, خلاص. he doesn't want me to marry this girl. That is it. Oh, he took it. He sat in his bed and he said, let me open this paper. So he opened the paper. He found inside the paper two lines. Someone has written something and threw the paper inside the shrine of an Imam. What does it say? The paper says, Oh my Imam, I'm coming to you because I know your position with Allah. I am a 28 or 30 year old girl from a poor family and until now I have not gotten married. I am a good girl and I've been protecting myself, but I can't be patient anymore. Please do something for me with Allah. The man looks at the paper. He says, I want this girl. <laughs> La ilaha illa. Where are we going to find this girl? La hawla wa la You know? How are we going to find this girl? And she writes her name. 
She writes her name. He goes out. He says to his dad, listen, I found this read. So the dad reads. He said, yes. What is it that you... He said, I want this girl. He said, you want this girl? What? Said, to marry her. He said, inter, inter something wrong with you. Inter, you don't know this girl. I've been introducing a thousand good girls to you. All of a sudden, you want this girl? He says, nothing will change my mind. He said, okay, let's go. They went to the local registry in Meshab. They started looking for these names. They noted down the names to a few and then they arrived at the description of that particular girl. Because she mentions that my father works as what? Works as a cleaner in the council of Meshad. So he's a cleaner. With the name, anyway, after a long search, they get to the house of that girl. They go there, it's in a very dirty suburb in the outskirts of Meshad. You know, very simple house. This guy rolls with, I don't know what, his Mercedes Benz or whatever. Goes upstairs, knock on the door. Okay? The father opens, this young man with his dad coming. He says, can we have tea with you? He says, yeah, please come. But who are you? He says, it doesn't matter, Allah, you will know who we are. Do you have a daughter? The man says, yes, I do. This guy thought they were spies. So what do you do? How do you know this all about me? I have a daughter. I have... Is she not married? He said, yes, she's not married. You also know this? He said, yes, we know this. What's your story? He said, my son wants to marry her. The father then says, look at the condition of these people. You know, sometimes when we pray also as parents, we're not genuine. And yesterday you wanted your son to marry a Muslim. Now you want her to be of a certain standard all of a sudden. And you said you want a good girl. Leave it to who? Leave it to Allah. Not when you see the girl that Allah has chosen for your son, all of a sudden you find faults in her. Ah, but she's not in our standard. Ah, you are calling Allah according to custom made what you want. Right? Yeah, Allah, I want this, but please custom made it. The way, until you know better than Allah, leave it to Allah. Yeah. If you believe in Allah, then leave it to Allah. The son says, no way I'm marrying anyone but this girl. If they are poor, we'll build them a house. If they don't have enough money, we'll give them money. If her father is a low income earner, we will increase his wages. I want his girl. He marries her. He marries her. On the day of the wedding, the girl says, sit. And she happened to be one of the most pious, religious, and most beautiful girl this man has ever seen. This young man. SubhanAllah. When you deal with Allah, as I say, deal with Allah and feel what? The difference. Deal with Allah and feel the difference. She sits him on the, on the, on the bed and she says, By Allah, I ask you, how did you come to know about it? He said, he told her the story. He said, then before we left, there was a paper that was left inside the shrine that had these two lines and he pulls out the paper and he shows it. He says, by Allah, it was me who wrote the paper. He said, I came to the shrine of Imam, Sallallahu and I wrote these two lines, and I knew that the Imam is going to reply to me. But I didn't expect it that soon. I didn't expect it that it was going to be that soon. Brothers, belief in Allah is phenomenal. But belief without what? Without conditions.